Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Brayden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, the place where we not only talk about what's going on in the gun world, but also how we're going to fix our country together. And the content that I'm going to show you to wrap up our week is Kamala Harris. They sent her on the campaign trail to a friendly blue state to talk about gun control bona fides as a reason to vote again for them. And it's like polling number eight in the importance on the entire po um, population standard. This you're going to love every second of this because you get propaganda and hilarity. Everything we linked in the description box below. And of course, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn the notification bell on. And guys, if you've been eyeing this shirt, honest to God, it ends tonight at midnight. I might forget and do it till tomorrow morning. I'll be honest. Depends what time it is. But the Glock Block shirt, nobody likes a Glock Block. Nobody likes the gun controllers anyway. So you might as well wear it and look amazing while you do. Last chance. It's closing out today. It'll be linked in the description box below. And thank you all to every single one of you guys who jumped on. A lot of you did, and I really appreciate it because this is absolutely limited, and you won't see it again after this thing closes. So with that said, let's get it because we have got to talk about our esteemed Vice President Kamala Harris. And I do mean esteemed because I want to paint the backdrop here. This is the person who's running for re-election with President Joe Biden. They're... Their mandate, really, is to go out and drum up support when they're on the campaign trail by saying the things that they've done. Well, it's a little odd when you're going into a gun control state and a friendly blue state, a safe blue state, and you're going to start campaigning and getting sound bites around gun control and the things that you've done for gun control when it's like number eight on the list of importance for the entire population of the United States behind like immigration, economy, inflation interest rates, affordability. All of these things are ranking above gun control by their own polling. So they sent Kamala Harris out to do this. Here's the first one, because we're, we're going to send a minute on, spend a minute on this one because it's just, like I said, propaganda and hilarity. Check it out. And gun violence. So let us all agree. It does not have to be this way. It does not have to be this way. And it is a false choice to suggest that you're either in favor of the Second Amendment or you want to take everyone's guns away. I'm in favor of the Second Amendment, and we need an assault weapons ban. I support the Second Amendment, and we need universal background checks. I support the Second Amendment, and we need red flag laws. All right. Well, that was quite a thing. So let's just break down these three. Um, first, let's do the assault weapons ban. Don't you love, and has anyone ever told you, that whenever you start a sentence and you say the sentence and then you follow with a but, that means everything before the but you didn't mean and everything after the but is what you truly mean? Yeah. This woman is like a walking example of that. So she's for the Second Amendment, but she needs those assault weapons bans, even though they're the most commonly owned and most popular firearm in the United States. Commonly owned, common use, Supreme Court precedent. Good luck, gun controllers. That's the first one. The second one, universal background checks. I support the Second Amendment, but we need universal background checks. Well, universal background checks violates federal law. So I hate to break it to you, that's a bit of a problem too. And then the final one, the coup de gras, the cherry on top, the deliciousness, that is the red flag laws. I believe in the Second Amendment, but we need red flag laws. Of course, ignoring the idea that red flag laws violate the Second Amendment. They violate, I believe, the Fourth, the Fifth, and the Sixth Amendments. And that's just off the top of my head. We've covered them multiple times. So she's for the Second Amendment, but... Assault weapons ban, assault weapons ban, universal background check, red flag laws. Oh, look, assault weapons ban again. This is the same old propaganda. Try, 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 try it again. And all, by the way, Maryland has an assault weapons ban that's sitting before the Supreme Court right now. This is so tedious. But anyway, let's continue because I've got to go through one more thing here. Now we're going to hit the gun show loophole and story time with Kamala because she's about to allude to the Wayback Machine of 2007. All right. Let's get some Kamala Harris going. Clip number two. And we have then finally strengthened background checks. Because here's what was happening. 
So before we took office, gun stores were required by law to conduct background checks. But gun dealers who sold weapons outside of the traditional gun store, like at a gun show or a flea market or even online, did not conduct background checks. We used to call this the gun show loophole. It had been around so long that back in the olden days in 2007, when I was the elected district attorney of San Francisco, I actually organized a rally in opposition to the gun show loophole. And now, as vice president, I am proud that we have finally closed it. So as the elected member of uh, San Francisco, the DA, I believe, I can't remember, whatever. But that's not the point. The point is, she organized a rally against something that never existed, and even the ATF director in Congress with Thomas Massey, of which we covered, even admitted to the idea that the gun show loophole never existed, and he doubled down on saying it. He said it in two different occasions now. And the rule promulgated under the dealer in the business of selling guns also states there's no gun show loophole at all. But other than that, they finally closed the thing that didn't exist. Guys, understand, first of all, it's the hilarity. It's Kamala Harris. That's an obvious one. But the other thing here, look at the surroundings. Look what they're doing. They're trying to gin up support for their political ambitions and political um, achievements. And the state that they're choosing to do it is in a safe blue district where they already have an assault weapons ban. They already have extreme and egregious gun control. And she's speaking to a crowd that's extremely um, uh, friendly to her and what she's saying. And the entire time, it's like number seven on the priority list of the population of the American population. Population of American people. Guys, you can't make this stuff up. You really can't. But that's what I've got for you to wrap your Friday. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you on the next one. I'm Braden. See you later.